right, guys, we are here for the next Global Dragon Ball. Now, we're about a little more than halfway through the second set. Uh, we are about to come up on our second set of wishes. Now, <clears throat> Global just got their second number one in the App Store rewards so far of the three-year anniversary. JP got three in total, and the third uh, of the rewards for number one in the App Store was basically um, a fourth set of Paranga Wishes. So what they did was um, they picked the three wishes that people uh, chose most, and then the final number one in the App Store rewards, <clears throat> it was basically just that those three most picked wishes uh, appeared in our gift box. So I would like all of y'all to keep that in mind. Uh, so far, Global has gotten you know the first two sets of rewards, if Global hits number one, like, again, a bunch across a bunch of stores, I kind of predict uh, Global will when the banners are about to leave uh, for the final time. Global, will, a lot of Global stores will probably hit number one in the App Store then. Uh, and you'll, there should be a, basically, uh, you know, a fourth set of the Parunga the Dragon Ball Wishes as the gifts. You guys get what I'm saying. Uh, so going over the Dragon Balls, again, uh, until August 13th, you can get all of these Dragon Balls. There is no rush. Uh, so the first ball was to train a character. Second one was to press the button on the home screen between story and event three times. Uh, then you had to complete a quest with Kid Gohan. Uh, this one uh, gives people a little bit of trouble here and there where you have to send yourself a firm request and then make sure to click OK on the thing where it says you can't friend yourself. Uh, go to the summons and click on the scouter to preview the banner characters. Very easy. Uh, here is just clear a metal event. Uh, and then click on the little Parunga campaign banner scrolling at the bottom here on the home screen. Uh, and then onto the second set, which is where we are now. Uh, in the character box, just click the top or bottom to initiate the fast scrolling. Uh, awaken a character using a Kami medal. For the most part, uh, an int character. Although, like, the physical Super Saiyan Goku will work uh, among some other units. Uh, rotate the characters from your team on the home screen seven times. Uh, yesterday's was to do a friend summon. And today's will be to consume 50 stamina. Uh, what I'll do for this video is I will show you guys my preferred spot to grind incredible gems. Uh, and then tomorrow is buy something in the Baba Shop with Baba Points. Very easy. And then the day after is to Z-Awaken a character. Another very easy one. Uh, a lot of very simple uh, tasks is how we get a lot of these Dragon Balls. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into the quest. Uh, and we want to go to 24-8. Uh, usually when I'm farming Incredible Gems, uh, this is the place that I will actually go to, uh, to, you know, to go ahead and farm. Oh boy, I just, I was about to like sort the friend lists and stuff as so I was on JP and I was like, oh wait, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not actually on JP. Oh <laughs> my bad, my bad. Uh, okay, so uh, this stage right here. This is definitely uh, the best stage I think you can go to uh, that will give you basically incredible gems. Because if you look on the right path, uh, on the right path, usually uh, Emperor Pilaf or Launch will appear. If they do not, then you can always head down the left path. Now, the left path always has these three incredible gem spots right here. Uh, and they are all five uh, spaces away. So you can consistently uh, get incredible gems, even if Pilaf and uh, Launch do not spawn. Oh, damn. I actually hit four. I meant, <laughs> I meant to hit the two. God damn it. <laughs> well, hey, I am in a stage for the first time in a while on Global. Uh, we'll let our boy Vegito Blue go ahead and handle this. Uh, also, y'all got to let me know if you had any good luck uh, with those uh, rewards we got uh, on Global. Uh, if y'all watched my video, uh, I did do a multi because Global managed to hit, you know, uh, number one in the App Store. We got some pretty good rewards. And I actually did pull LR Vegito off of the Global rewards. Uh, I was actually pretty st <laughs> I was pretty stunned about that. Usually, uh, your boy only really pulls good shit if I'm spending money. Dokkan doesn't like to give me good shit for free, so... Uh, I will gladly take that. Uh, and as you guys can see, we were able to get a couple of incredible gems, uh, which is very nice. And now we will go ahead and head into the fight with uh, Super Andrew 17. 
Now, when I was really aggressively farming uh, Incredible Gems at the end of 2017, uh, I did this stage a, like, dozen... Like, I don't know how many times I've done this stage, but... Hmm... It may actually be close to, like, a thousand times I've run this stage. Uh, Super 17 will always super attack no matter what. Uh, this, this first turn of his, he always super attacks without fail. So, so many times, like, I would do this stage, what I would do is I would actually bring Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. I'd bring a friend Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Uh, and then the rest of the units I would put on the team is units that I actually needed to level up. Uh, I'm going to do a box showcase in probably a few days here. Uh, you guys will be able to see at that time uh, that I have, like, every single unit in my box, like, at max level awakened all of that. So, running through this stage all of the times I did uh, is one of the big ways, because as you guys see, 51,000 experience right there for every single unit. And, you know, if you've got two Super Saiyan 4 Gogetas, an awakened Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta SA-10, you know, can easily just blow the fucker right away. It's not a big deal whatsoever, so... Uh, oh, also, we do get a lot... <laughs> We get a lot of rank EXP. Obviously, you know, four times rank EXP is a thing right now. Uh, so this is 23 stamina. So we'll have to do this two more times and we will get uh, the next Purunga Dragon Ball. For now, since a lot of my units are not awakened, uh, I will just go ahead and rock the, you know, a Vegito Blue Hero team. Uh, a lot of these units I do have close to SA-10. Oh, look, look, there we go. There we go. A launch has appeared. Uh, the launch and peel off uh, spawn rates do appear to be uh, pretty good on this stage. Like, like this is why I choose to run this one. There are uh, other stages that are like just as good. Like, I, I don't want to say definitively like this is the best stage uh, to get incredible gems, but I will say it it's definitely one of the best, right? Like, like I will uh, put my faith in saying it's like one of the top tier stages. Uh, to go and get ahead and get uh, incredible gems. So, mm, yeah, we'll go ahead and leave uh, Super Vegito and Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta uh, on a rotation together. And then LR Super Gogeta, uh, not really a big deal there. Man, I really, I actually think I prefer uh, the Super Saiyan Vegito's uh, final Kamehameha animation uh, to his Spirit Sword animation. So, it is good being able to see that animation again after so long. Uh, so what you usually could do, now we might as well just go do it, is like if you get a, a launch or peel off before this point, now we can go ahead and head back over to the left side. And as you guys can see, you know, these uh, spots regenerate every single time you enter this stage. So now we can go ahead and grab these uh, and accumulate a couple more incredible gems uh, before we actually finish up here. We'll just go ahead and hop into the fight with uh, Super 17. I don't want to take too much of y'all's time. All right, so again, uh, this fucker Super 17, uh, he does super basically 100% of the time. Uh, my team is actually kind of... Team is a little weak here, but I don't think he's going to be able to take us down. Uh, I... Okay, you know what? I'm actually going to heal. <laughs> I'm going to heal because, like, my super... My Vegito Blue, I don't think he's SA10. He's like SA5 or something like that. My in Gogeta, he's like SA9. Uh, I'm still waiting to get uh, some more, like the next uh, Prunga Wish. Uh, get three more uh, Grand Kai's for every typing uh, will go a long way. Because I really want to get like my Super Gogeta to SA20. You know, my Vegito Blue in Gogeta. My Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, uh, I did actually get him to SA10. Uh, being pretty much one of my favorite units, uh, I wanted to like kind of prioritize uh, getting him SA-10 first. Uh, he, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, and that 70% chance of his to counter is just so godly that I always love to prioritize that. Uh, all right, so let's see how much damage Super 17 does. Usually, I think he does around 100k. Yeah, 93k. Uh, that does seem about right. Uh, this bastard, of course, he's going to super right at the start. Uh, I actually think I'm going to go ahead and use an item here just because if Gogeta's 70% chance... Uh, to dodge a super attack would not trigger. This guy would actually be able to take us down. Um, actually, hmm. I think a lot of the times on the second rotation, he doesn't actually super attack. Uh, usually, he'll follow up. The first turn is always super attack. And the second turn, I think a lot of times, he will follow up with a normal attack. Although, he did super here. But our boy Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta 
Uh, he did counter anyway, so he'll go ahead and take this fucker down. Uh, goodbye, Super 17. Have a have a good day, motherfucker. All right, so we took him down. Uh, there is 46 stamina used. Uh, we have to go ahead and use 50 stamina, so we'll go ahead and hop into the stage one more time. Uh, again, there are other stages that are good for grinding incredible gems. Uh, there is also, like, if you want to go to the stage uh, that will give you the maximum uh, rank EXP, I believe it is actually the final quest stage, uh, should give you the highest amount of uh, EXP that you can get, right? So I know a lot of people... A lot of people really should take advantage of this four times uh, experience while it's out. Uh, I mean, a lot of people like to hover in, like, the rank 200s and stuff uh, in Dokkan. And, like, you really don't... Like, like it, it's very easy to get to, like, rank 300+. Plus. And one thing about being so highly ranked is usually, like, when it comes to be world tournament time, uh, you will get uh, LR Broly friends all over the place, like... If you hang around too long in, like, the hundreds or two hundreds, you know, World Tournament Time, you're not going to be able to find LR Broly friends uh, as easily as you'd like. Once the friend update uh, comes into play, though, I don't really think it'll be an issue, probably even for lower-ranked players, uh, being able to find LR Broly friends uh, should be pretty consistent. Um, hmm. Okay, so we'll definitely do this. Uh, let's get our boy uh, LR... I was about to say LR Gogeta. Let's get our boy Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta uh, at the end there to counterattack and hopefully take this fucker out. So this only thing I don't like about LR Gogeta and Vegito is that attack animation right there is consistent basically throughout all three of their cards. I guess I would have liked it if their LR had like a different super attack animation. But, I mean, I don't know. It's no reason to nitpick with how incredible, like, once they actually transform, like, how beautiful the super attack animations are and shit. And, like, you know, uh, even LR Gogeta uh, does the Big Bang Kamehameha again. Always love seeing the Big Bang Kamehameha. It is great because, you know, the LR Gogeta card, there we go. We got the 50 stamina and the Dragon Ball. The LR Gogeta card, you know, uh, when it's Goku and Vegeta, they do the final Kamehameha as their 18 key super but then, you know, once they actually fuse, their 12-key super as LR Gogeta is the Big Bang Kamehameha. That's, like, a really awesome thing that they do. Uh, okay, so that will do it for today. Uh, we, we've already gone on for a while, so I'll, I'll save a multi for tomorrow. Uh, let me know what you guys got, if you got anything fantastic from the number one in the App Store Rewards. And I will catch y'all tomorrow for the next Dragon Ball.